What's going on guys? Welcome to David's Kitchen, which should be the name of the channel now since we're in isolation and we're only doing cooking. So Tracy, talking about cooking, what's cooking today? We, <laughs> we are making chicken and waffles from... The Sleepy Hollow restaurant in Magic Kingdom. So waffles and chicken tenders mm -hmm. with a nice sweet and spicy sauce which should be very good and I'm, coleslaw and I'm yeah coleslaw. and coleslaw pretty excited about that so don't forget to like this video follow me if you want to see some more recipe mainly disney recipes because we're we're crazy disney fans and uh yeah follow us on instagram and let's cook let's cook So we are going to start by making uh, the waffle itself and well we're in Canada so there's things that we cannot get poor little Canadians here. So if you're in the United States you should get the Carbon's Golden Malted Flour uh, which is the official uh, flour that's used for all the waffles in uh, Disney World. So if you can get that, get that. Uh, for us we're just going to follow a normal waffle recipe which is gonna be the same thing. Basically, what's making the recipe is the uh, the little glazed sauce that we put over the, the, the sandwich. So we're gonna start with one cup of flour, mix your wet and dry ingredients separately, and then we're gonna go for half a tablespoon of white sugar. And then we're gonna do two teaspoons of baking powder, not soda, powder. Yes, there's a difference. I don't know the difference. No, he doesn't. Fourth of a teaspoon of salt. No, I don't measure it. <laughs> yeah. The inside of the inside of our hand is about. Just, just put a pinch there. It's yeah. fourth. It's a little bit. So mix all your dry ingredients together. I'm helping. <laughs> okay, it's good. Okay, so move on to your white ingredients, and because we're doing half a recipe, what's half of a cup and three quarters? It is a 0.875. Perfect. Okay. So one egg. Oops, it's in the way. So what was that again? 0.875. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. That was actually on the line of 0.875. That's really good. Pretty good with that. Yeah. Okay. A quarter of a cup of butter. Melted butter. A no. quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla. You done? I want to help. I don't know. Am I done? Yes, you're done. Okay, now mix the two together. I have a butter chunk in there. So now that the waffle mix is done, we're going to put that aside and then we're going to start the, uh, the sauce. Yes. So we start with a quarter of a stick of butter, which is about 30 grams. Okay, so we have the butter in the pan. You need half a tablespoon of sriracha. Oops. <laughs> One tablespoon of orange juice. An eighth of a cup, so I have a quarter, so just half a quarter of a cup of maple syrup. Canadian maple syrup. Now you just melt everything together. I'm oh, just putting the, the waffle mix in the waffle maker. In regards to the waffle maker, this is where you recognize like real Disney fans. <laughs> so what's acceptable is of course the, the Mickey waffle maker, the Lightning McQueen uh, waffle maker, uh, and of course, well, the <laughs> one and only Olaf waffle maker. Yes, so we're I'm eating Olaf bread chicken waffle yeah sandwich. oh yeah of course because yeah. we're we're adults so i mean it <laughs> sounds like the right thing to do now that the waffles are ready it's time to put everything together basically bottom waffle chicken tender and then the little sauce that we made drizzle that on top then a little bit of coleslaw and then 
top of Olaf. Just like that. <laughs> Looks pretty good, like it smells amazing. It does smell good. Pretty excited. So that is it guys, a final result. It looks a pretty good and it's an Olaf shape so it has to be good. <laughs> what, don't you agree? <laughs> I do agree. I've never had chicken and waffles before also, can we just put that out there? <laughs> <laughs> She's very Canadian. It's very odd. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's face it, like the chicken tender that you're gonna choose is gonna make or break mm -hmm. the, uh, the sandwich. So we have really good ones. Mm -hmm. So that is it for us today, guys. Um, overall, like I highly suggest them. Like they're very good. It's not the best recipe we have ever made, but those are still very they're good. good like the little glaze, the coleslaw. Like overall, it's a really good sandwich. Mm -hmm. I'd give it like a eight out of ten. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more video like this. If you have any suggestion, by the way, please comment in the, the section down below. So, you know, we were always looking for like new ideas for, for videos. So let me know what you want to see. Is there any recipes, any particular uh, restaurant anywhere in the world? If we can find a recipe, we'll make it for you guys and let you know what we think. So again, you can follow us on Instagram to see some more. And well, until next time.